Well, you're watching Morning Live. Thanks so much for tuning in. Now, the much-anticipated Commission of Inquiry into allegations of impropriety at the Public Investment Corporation is set to start today. President Salo Ramaphosa instituted the inquiry last year and it will look into the period January the 1st, 2015 to August 31st, 2018. And it will be headed by a Justice Lex Mpati, the former President of the Supreme Court of Appeal, and he'll be assisted by Joel Marcus and Emmanuel Lediha. And to tell us more about this, I'm joined by economist Tabi Lioka. Tabi, thanks so much for coming through. It's a pleasure. So uh, first and foremost, perhaps let's just uh, jog our memories again uh, to this particular commission of inquiry and uh, the allegations of impropriety at the Public Investment Corporation. Mm -hmm. What are the terms of reference for this particular inquiry? So as you said, the dates are quite narrow. Mm -hmm. so, um, so what happened, just a, a brief background is, Everyone knows that there's been allegations in the media on corruption, uh, mismanagement, um, and um, uh, all sorts of things about, about uh, the PIC. And this obviously worried the president. And then he decided that he needed to have a commission of inquiry to look at uh, the veracity of um, these you know, alleged improprieties. And so he brought together this commission. I was roped in much later. So uh, the former uh, governor of the Reserve Bank, Jill Marcus, is part of the commission, as you mentioned. And um, so then I was roped in to help um, with the commission. So what exactly will your role be? So as you can imagine, with uh, something as technical as the PIC, uh, a lot of it is financial. There's also economic implications. So the commission felt that they needed to beef up um, uh, you know, their understanding of certain things. And I think you know, looking at some certain submissions, they felt that they needed someone who has um, uh, an understanding on, on, of finances and the economy. And then um, they also wanted somebody who can communicate this to the public because they felt that this is the commission of inquiry of, for the public. Um, so if, if, you know, we are to have, um, you know, cameras and uh, 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 interviews, the public need to understand some of the technical um, jargon that will be used. And so I'll be helping unpack that as well. I'll also be helping the legal team because remember that they are not uh, financial people or economists. So I'll be helping uh, the commission uh, with that as well. And, uh, you know, just talking about uh, the dates, uh, January 1st, 2015 to 31st, August uh, 2018, um, that is uh, rather, you know, defined. And also uh, looking at that, does this suggest in any way that there are specific um, instances that need to be investigated? So not at all. So this is not targeted at something that, let's say, the president felt that there's something specific specific that needs to be looked at because of the dates that he, he, he gave us. Um, we, uh, the, the terms of reference do actually state that if there's any information that is very important that you deem important to um, the commission, uh, the public needs to come and uh, uh, submit to us as well. So we will consider anything that is goes, let's say, beyond um, 2015, the 1st of January. And as long as we stick to the deadline of the 15th of April to submit to the president. It is up to the president to decide if, let's say, there's a barrage of information and he can see that this, the time that we've been given is not enough to look, go through all of that. And if he thinks that some of it is so important that it needs an extension, only the president can decide on that. And, and, and that's quite interesting uh, because, uh, let me ask this first, how have the preparations gone thus far, uh, given that you have uh, that uh, April deadline? You know, so our first deadline is actually the 15th of February because we need to submit an interim report to the president. So we're rushing to get to that date. The commission starts today at 10 o'clock. Um, you know, commissions are very interesting because you get submissions and there's the investigative team that looks at all these submissions and, and speaks to various people who have come forward. Uh, but it's only up until the testimonies that the commission starts, um, at, you know, uh, uh, looking at uh, so certain things that were mentioned. So we will, you know, try as hard as possible to reach the 
the deadline of the 15th with the interim report and also uh, the April deadline. And I'll tell you why I asked that. I'm particularly interested, uh, given, you know, uh, looking at the terms of reference again, uh, some of the things that this uh, commission needs to look into. The efficacy, for example, of the current uh, governance and operating model of the PIC, the role of the board, um, then the investments and, and, and looking at some of the investments, for example, um, uh, the Steinhoff International, you've got ESCOM, you've got uh, Iqbal Surveys company there you've got vbs mutual it seems like quite a it lot it is a lot and and i think that what will help us is submissions so that's why i appeal to the public anyone who know, has information on the pic to come forward because uh the quicker people come forward uh the quicker the investigation happens and then we'll also reach the deadline so it'll help everyone in terms of if if people step step up. I know it's not always easy because people are always considering the, 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 you know, the role that they play if it's a staff member or if it's a company that's involved. Um, but um, look, this we have, we have no prior information. We want people to step up and this will be really for the good of the country and also the good of an entity which is one of the biggest in uh, the country and also uh, the biggest asset manager um, on the continent. So as it stands today, uh, have people stepped up? Uh, who are you expecting to testify? So there's a lot of people that have, have come forward. Um, so that the investigative team is uh, speaking to them or uh, receiving their submissions. Um, and we'll see when they come through. So on the website, we will, on the day before, put down the names of people who will testify uh, uh, the following day. And so we'll make sure that everything is put on the website. Also, the testimonies will be on the website after afterwards. Um, the, inter the media can interview the, the, um, anyone who wants to be interviewed, provided it's after their testimony. So this will be very open to the public and, and to the media. Former CEO Dan Majila, is he expected to testify? We don't know yet. So I don't know who will come forward, um, but this is an open process. So if you want to come forward, you can. Uh, we wouldn't know prior until you step forward. So, uh, And also the investigative team is the one that does the lineup on who is going to um, be interviewed. Uh, we are not at that stage where we've subpoenaed anyone because we don't have um, the information yet that requires us to subpoena. But should that... Uh, uh, should we reach that point, obviously, we will, um, if necessary. But at the moment, we are appealing to everyone to, to come forward. This week, everyone that's um, going to be on the commission has actually volunteered to do so. So can you give us any names? So, I mean, uh, today we're starting off with the acting secretary of the board. Um, we also have the head of, um, I think it's research. Uh, also during the week, we have um, also the head of equities, um, listed equities. So we do have big names in the first week, um, but we will release uh, those names as, as we go along. I am also, um, uh, certain people obviously don't want to be um, mentioned before they testify. So we are also considerate on um, the requests of those who want to testify. Uh, and, and, you know, they, they feel that they need to be protected. Um, so we have considered that as well. And then, of course, uh, you have uh, someone like uh, General Bantu Olomisa of the UDM, who's been very vocal in the allegations that he has leveled against the PIC. Uh, will he be testifying? Not sure yet, but I know that I've listened to interviews. Uh, he's, he's been very vocal over the years, and um, I think that he needs to if he has information uh, that would be useful to the commission. And uh, what about uh, someone like former finance minister Ntlantla Nene, for example, um, SNS refinery LDA in Mozambique, and we heard about links to his son and uh, monies uh, that uh, it may have gone from the PIC to that particular company. Yeah. Uh, is that something that is being investigated by the commission? Um, so if there is a need to, 
I'm sure that they, it would be. And if also they, somebody in, in, in their testimony uh, implicates the former minister, then the minister may feel that he needs to also step forward and, and defend himself. Um, if the minister does um, want to also testify, he can do so. So at this moment, the I guess the beauty for me is that there's very little, and also for the commission, there's very we rely on the public to step up. So we'll only know, it's almost like the Zondo and the Greasy. You don't know what he's going to say until he steps up and, and says, you know, and drops the bomb. And so we say, likewise, we don't know. I know that uh, Bantola Mesa has been saying that, geez, you, if you think that the Zondo Commission is uh, scary, watch out for the PIC. We don't know. So we are also like... Um, that's interesting. We, we want to find out mm. what he's talking about. He must also come forward because he also can't um, make allegations on people that are not correct. So we also need to be wary about that, that these have been allegations over the years. Um, maybe they don't hold water. Maybe they do. We don't but but know. what is the commission's role in that instance where he's been very clear about the allegations that he has made? He's been on this particular show, on this very platform, as were the people whom he had uh, leveled the allegations against. They were afforded right of reply. So what is the uh, commission's role then in that regard? where such serious allegations have been leveled. We have to investigate, investigate definitely, that? because the role of the, of the commission is to investigate and also to make recommendations. So we'll definitely rec uh, investigate, but we cannot investigate something that we don't know. So he has to come to the commission and, um, and testify, and we will then investigate what he has testified um, and, and what he has submitted. But at the moment, we can't just blindly investigate something that is an allegation and he doesn't come forward. We want him to come forward. We want others to come forward so that this can be um, a fruitful exercise. And as you say, this is a commission for the public. Where exactly is the commission sitting? Um, so it's in Pretoria at Sammy Marks. Uh, we do have uh, SABC will be there, ENCA and uh, international um, coverage. We'll also, uh, we've also invited uh, international journalists, especially those who are financially leaning. So um, when I mean open to the public, not that the public can attend, mm -hmm. is that it will be covered by all um, uh, media, so we have opened it to all media, and the public can also submit if they do believe that they have information or if they have information, they must step up to and, and, and make submissions. And of course, uh, this is going to be a very important one. The VBS Mutual saga, that one was huge towards the end of last year. And uh, again, many names were mentioned. And uh, have you done any preliminary investigations into that matter already? So what happens with how a commission works is that there is an investigative team led by, uh, you know, the, uh, an evidence leader. And so they then work separately. So I am not privy to what they have what they've investigated, you know, what the, uh, what the submissions are. Just like uh, you, I guess. So we will find out when the testimony, um, when we hear the testimony, and that will lead us then to ask questions about, so this person maybe should come up because uh, he's been implement, uh, implicated, he or she has been implicated uh, in this testimony. So that's how I guess the ball will roll. So has anybody uh, applied for uh, protection? Um, not that I'm aware of. All right. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Tabilioka, we certainly are looking forward to this. It certainly is commission season in South Africa. Thanks to economist uh, Tabilioka, the much anticipated commission of inquiry into allegations of impropriety at the Public Investment Corporation set to start today. And of course, uh, SABC will be covering that uh, one as well. And it's going to be very interesting given all uh, the issues that they need to investigate. The PIC, of course, manages over two trillion rand of government funds and we're talking the government employees pension fund we're talking the unemployment insurance fund etc so this one is going to be another interesting one well let's take a break and now on the other side